And tell us what we're looking at. Oh, we're, we're looking down the side of, uh, in between the, the core and a, and a strap on CVC. So obviously we have ignition there. And we're going to be seeing the Florida coast disappearing, I imagine, here in a second. And we also are coming up on the point when we should have nanosat separation. So while we're watching a tape, we want to make sure that we don't miss that milestone, which happens, oh, less than a minute from now. About 30. Yeah, that's a great, uh, that's a great shot. And we want to continue to show folks these pictures, but we also want to make sure that that we're quiet enough to listen for nanosat. It should burn. Did finish. And again, you're watching the replay. one and two are on. That's the countdown the sequencer for the nanosat deploy. A deployment should be at 16 minutes, 23 seconds in the flight, just about now. Not, might not be able to uh, immediately verify if the uh, nanosets did deploy. We expect the TV playback at uh, 20 minutes in to detect that. Again, you're watching a replay of the launch from the onboard camera and listening to live telemetry data from Steve Agat as he monitors the deployment of the two nanosats. Well, it continues to go well. There should be no more uh, loss of signals uh, during the mission as we should have telemetry coverage uh, throughout the remainder of the flight. Our past flights, you wouldn't have the strap on there, so you actually get a better view of the Florida coast disappearing. Um, but the good news is, since strap on is there, we're going to get to see it separate here in a, another few minutes. And we should have video uh, of, uh, again, uh, it was tape delayed, but of the uh, second stage engine deploy and start. Gorgeous view from that angle. Past 17 minutes into the flight. 131 uh, nautical miles in altitude, 14,241 nautical miles per hour, and uh, 2,792 nautical miles downrange. And where is this camera mounted that we're watching as we sort of see you know, the, the edge of the earth there? It's, I couldn't tell you the exact location on the CBC, or it may even be on the center body. Um, it, it's uh, obviously, it's, it's at about the same level as the, uh, as the cone on top of the strap on. Yeah, you're seeing the curvature of the earth. That's, that is, it's. And as we await uh, letting you watch the replay of the separation of those common booster cores, our next milestone that we're awaiting is the first restart of the Stage 2 engine, and that will happen, oh, a little less than two minutes from now. Yeah, LH2 repress valve, LH2 repress enable, and LH2 repress remote are on. LH jets uh, 10 and 12 are now active. So the strap-ons have to be uh, powering down now, getting ready for a main, uh, for cutoff of each of their engines. Preparation About a minute and a half now from the uh, second ignition of the second stage. And tell us, what, oh, amazing. Wow. Beautiful. And again, that's a replay from moments ago. Now those are falling, I believe, approximately 600 miles downrange from here into the ocean. Just amazing. And again, we are a little less, about a minute away from the first restart of the Stage 2 engine, and you'll hear, um, of course, telemetry engineer Steve Agad make those calls. So we want to let you listen to that, but 